This week, we are heading up the Gulf Coast of Florida. It is incredibly hot today. It's so hot. But this part of the country is known for its white, sandy beaches and crystal clear water, so there are plenty of places to cool off. I don't mind a little sand in my ponds. We discover a new way to van camp. Behind their business, it's just this huge gated area of just like just big grassy area. And begin to question what's next. Mars wants to live on a boat now. I'm Mars. I'm Ash. I'm Everly. This is my brother Atlas. And this is my dog Bear. We started our journey in 2016 on a 48 state road trip. In 2017, we bought our self converted van Edison and have been full time van lifers ever since. We're excited you found us in this corner of the internet. We hope our videos will be helpful and inspire you to chase your own adventure. Man, last night was a tough one because it was so hot and humid. We persevered, kind of. Atlas woke up at like 4.30 thinking it was 6.30, which isn't much better. So we had to deal with that for a little bit, but man. Good morning. Good morning. One of the ways we try to stay healthy in the van is we juice fresh celery. There are many benefits to juicing celery. One, it's just the ultimate hydration. It rehydrates and builds your adrenal glands. It helps clean out your liver supports your brain on a number of levels. It fights viruses. It fights viruses, that's a big one. I'm and more so, energized when we're doing yeah, it Yeah, I would say that I was, feel, I'm, yeah. I'm, I sometimes I battle with like fatigue, which is like really silly, um, I know, but. It's really silly. Kind of, I mean, it's like sometimes I wake up in the morning after, you know, after a full night's sleep and I'm just like, man, I'm tired. Um, but celery juice really has helped me through that. And maybe you've heard of this, um, it's, obviously made popular by the medical medium which has an incredible amount of information and if you haven't heard of him you should go check him out it is incredibly hot today and it is it's definitely not causing us to be our best selves so it's kind of been a rough morning and our gray water and uh, toilet is full, so we're just gonna go ahead and do a big cleansing this morning. <laughs> cleanse our auras. Cleanse our energy, our cleanse the toilets. Hey, look at this kid's sweaty head, if you can tell. It's so hot. We, we keep turning the van on so we can use the AC to rough. cool down. We okay. have a fan, but I'm telling you, it's not like cold air. Yay for Florida! Florida! <laughs> So this is roughly like 45 minutes out of our way. Well, I guess an hour and a half round trip out of our way. But I guess it's worth it. was quite nice. Um, pretty warm water. It was really crowded. It was still it was a little super bit refreshing. refreshing. But now we're moving on to another little spot we saw on the way here on a little key. Uh -huh. um, we can park know. the van right on the water. Yeah. So that's a little bit more what we're looking for because we're just like, you know, there's just like a parking lot. Yeah, we're done and with we the parking to, lot life. We had to, to walk out to the beach. So, all right, here we go. Oh, well, I 
I started a new picture because I, for, for, because I did ocean style mountains. Let me see. Oh, nice. Who's that? That's me. That's you? Uh huh. spend an afternoon we went down to the causeway so it was causeway island yeah, park there was a bald eagle just sitting right there up a on, bald eagle oh i've never gosh. seen a bald eagle you've got to be Literally kidding me perched up perched up on the uh on the rail right here what we've been looking for spots in florida where we can pull the van up like on the beach we could just pull out the deck and open the door and be right there so this place was really great it was a great way to spend a sunny day in florida So we're really excited because we just joined Harvest Hosts. So if you haven't heard of it, it is a way for you to get unique camping experiences at farms, wineries, breweries, restaurants, um, all kinds of businesses like that that have a lot of space for RVs and campers. Um, so instead of paying um, like you would at a campground, you pay for a membership that's uh, renewed every 12 months. For us, it was just over a hundred bucks. And um, then when you go to the brewery or the farm, you just purchase something from them to give back to them for opening up their space for you. So tonight we're going to stay at our first Harvest Host place. And it's a brewery. It's a brewery and a restaurant. And, a restaurant. and so we're gonna go get dinner there and enjoy their space. It looks really nice. It's um, just outside of Sarasota, correct? Mm -hmm. It looks pretty chill. Looks really relaxed. Great. And so we're gonna have a nice little spot to park that isn't at a truck stop. Yeah, we stayed at a pilot last night, which, you know, pilots are fine, but you know, quality of life, it just isn't the best it can be. And so we're gonna try to increase our quality of life and use Harvest Host. Okay, so we have arrived. Like we rolled in and we're like, okay, it's like this on the corner, like right in the middle of town. And we're like, all right, this is interesting. And behind their business, it's just this huge gated area of just like just yeah. big grassy area, which we'll show you in the morning. But anyway, we're gonna go check out the restaurant and pub. So let's do that. You know what today is? New strings day. Dad. What is that? It means that these strings Dad. are worn out and I need to go Dad. pick up some more. Beautiful Atlas. Beautiful day. one beach in the county that allows dogs, which is Venice. Yeah, there's a beach, Rohard Beach. Rohard Beach in yeah. Venice. So we're heading that direction because it's just too dang hot to leave Beirut in the van. And who wants to like be in the van by themselves anyway? New plan, and we're executing it. This is why having a bus sounds like not a good idea. Yeah, but... Look, there's literally bus parking right there. I know, the one spot. RV, it, look at that, you see that sign right up there? RV and bus parking. It's just so hard to find parking sometimes. No, but this, I would go back around. What, back I around? I mean, we're not a bus. 
A real pro, Ash. Way to go. The beach here yeah. had amazing shark teeth. People told us to look for shark teeth, but I didn't realize like how easy they were to find. We were like, oh, this would be really cool if we found one. We found like four shark teeth. I really found a really big one. The big one. And then also there was a caudalfish, like a prehistoric caudalfish jawbone that we yeah. found. Yeah, so if you're looking for a cool little a scavenger hunt, come down to Venice and try to find some shark teeth. Yeah, there was a wide array of people there though, you know? Just yeah, there was like a casual. wide array of people, like skinny people, medium oh sized people. Oh my god, Ashley. No, <laughs> and I'm the, big, people casually and the big ones. Wow. Who was the best bark? Okay, Everly Bark. <laughs> Alright, Atlas, you bark. Muff. He's still getting over his sister barking. Muff. Can you bark at Atlas? <laughs> What'd you think of the dog beach? <laughs> Yeah, she liked it. Really she acted, liked it like, too. A dog. She for, for acted like, a, like a dog and went up to people and took their balls and <laughs> barked at everybody. She was a wilder dog than Beirut was, actually. It's a huge dog park. All the dogs were off leash. Um, it was awesome. Anything, train your ear to hear only the kick drum. <laughs> mm -hmm. I freaking love this vacuum. We can't go anywhere without him vacuuming before we go now. And of course, like we're at the beach multiple times. Hey, I was week, just vacuuming so. my seat. Okay. Uh, Do you want your, your seat, seat vacuum? No, I don't care. I don't mind a little sand in my pods. <laughs> Mars wants to live on a boat now. Someday. I said someday. I said someday. Someday. Not exactly right now. Someday he wants to live on a sailboat. I'd like to live on a big houseboat, I, I but. I didn't say sailboat. You oh, did? Well, didn't, no, I, I said the boat that we saw earlier that I really liked. What, it was more like that? a small barge. But it had a sail. So, sail. It didn't have a sail. Nope, could have had a sale. No, I could. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. I think we're gonna leave you here. So if you like what you saw, make sure to hit subscribe. We have a lot of changes coming up in the future. Do we build out a bus? Do we build out a trailer? Do These we are stay all... in the van? Do we stay in the van? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Uh, so we have, you know, just being real with you guys, we don't, we don't really know what the future holds, but we know that it's going to be great and it's going to be good and it's going to lead us to wonderful things. And we honestly hope the same for you guys wherever you are in your journey. So you guys take care and spread the love. See Bye you next guys. Week.